I sadly announced that Audrey's body was located at the Trinity River on the U.S. Highway 59. A heartbreaking end to the six-day search for an 11-year-old girl. Now investigators say they will charge this man who admits he was the last to see Audrey Cunningham with murder. Law enforcement confirming within the last hour they have recovered the body of Audrey Cunningham. The Harris County Medical Examiner's Office now working to find out how that 11 year old died. The district attorney's office in Polk County is also working right now to charge Don Stephen McDougal with capital murder. He's already in custody at the Polk County Jail on an unrelated charge. We have team coverage with Jason Miles and Maria Aguilera on this tragic ending. Jason, friends and family of Audrey, were there to hear the sheriff make today's announcement. And that's right, Lynn, and you know many in this community held out hope that Audrey Cunningham might be found alive, knowing with each passing day the odds of that happening certainly diminished. And again, just within the last hour, Polk County Sheriff Byron Lyons, DPS, and others delivering the sad news that the 11-year-old girl reported missing last Thursday was indeed found dead today. We got video along the Trinity River at US 59, including the area where we're told Cunningham was pulled from the Trinity River downriver from the dam where what is believed to have been her backpack was found last Friday. That's the same day family friend Don Stephen McDougal was arrested on an unrelated charge. Cell phone data and surveillance video among the things that led to this outcome, according to investigators. Take a listen again to how the sheriff began the news conference today and then reaction from a friend of Audrey's mother, Cassie Matthews. At this time, I sadly announced that Audrey's body was located at the Trinity River on the U.S. Highway 59. As a result of today's developments, I will discontinue the Amber Alert for Audrey. There's nothing else we can do. They did a great job. They brought her home. Cassie can get closure that she needs and the rest of the family as well. Cassie. Honor of Audrey. Meanwhile, the Polk County District Attorney telling us she plans to pursue capital murder charges and right now evidence is still being processed and of course the autopsy is pending. You mentioned that is being done down in Houston at the Harris County Institute of Forensic Sciences. Investigators could not tell us how Audrey may have been killed, but certainly all evidence suggests foul play and that person of interest for days, now the prime suspect. Reporting live from Livingston, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News. All right, Jason, thank you. We know the suspect charge has a lengthy criminal history. Maria Aguilera picking up our team coverage from where Audrey's body was found. Maria. Yeah, this is the area where Polk County officials tell us Audrey Cunningham's body was found and we are told that the Trinity River Authority actually lowered the water levels to help with that search. Now, as you can see here behind me, that search has come to an end and this is one of the places where officials tell us 42 year old Don Stephen McDougal had gone to. Now, right now, the Polk County DA's office is preparing an arrest warrant for McDougal to charge him with capital murder for the death of Audrey Cunningham. Investigators say he was likely the last person to see her. Now we're told he lives in a camper behind the home where Audrey lived with her father and other family. And McDougal admitted to leaving the house with Audrey Thursday morning when she never made it to school. Officials tell us McDougal worked with investigators and took them to several locations, yet did not confess to anything. Right now, as we mentioned, he is in jail. He was booked Friday on an unrelated charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Records show McDougal has a criminal history dating Dating back to 2001 and back in 2007, he was convicted of enticing a minor with intent that was in Brazoria County. And according to records out of Liberty and Harris County, McDougal has three assault cases. And today officials say they have substantial evidence to connect McDougal to Audrey's death. At this time, we believe the appropriate arrest warrant is going to be for capital murder in the death of Audrey Cunningham. He is currently still in jail under an unrelated felony charge here. I understand that this is a very difficult time for Audrey's family and for our community. Certainly a tragic ending to this search. Of course, we will have more on this tragic case tonight at 10. Live along the Trinity River, Maria Aguilera, KHOU 11 News. Maria, thank you. We will continue to have breaking updates on this investigation. Just go to our website, khou.com.